Hey, it's Mr. Peace. Hello, Holy Family. Welcome to another Faith Friday. And for this week's theme, we're going to be talking about time. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a bicycle helmet and my safety glasses. And it's because I just got back from a bike ride. And I love to bike ride. I love to kayak. I told you last week that I love to play basketball as well. But I really wanted to build on what we focused on a couple sessions ago when we talked about what really matters. And you can see a link to that video pop up on the screen here if you want to rewatch that. And I want to build on that again to focus on time. So there's this young boy and his dad comes home from work. And his dad is tired. He just wants to be left alone. He had a very, very long day at the office. He doesn't want to be bothered. But as soon as he walks in the door, his young son comes up to him and he says, Dad, how much money do you make an hour? And his dad's like, what? That's the first question you're, you're going to ask me when I walk in the house? He said, that's, that's none of your business. Why would you even want to know that? He's like, you know, just go play with your toys. Then the son comes back again, and you know, a couple minutes later, and he says, Dad, I need to know, how much money do you make an hour? His dad said, look, it's really none of your business, but if you really, really want to know, I make $50 an hour. Five, zero. And so then, right after he answers that question, the young boy says, Dad, can I have $25? And he said, what? He's like, first you're going to ask me this question and now you want money from me? He's like, no, go to your room. And so the boy goes to his room. And now the dad has some time to unwind a little bit and think about why his son even asked him how much money he makes an hour and then asked him for $25. And the more he thinks about it is, you know, maybe he really did need the money for a new bicycle. Why I'm wearing the helmet and the glasses, right? So... Even though the dad thought that maybe his son shouldn't have asked those questions or asked them in the way that he did, he said, you know what, I'm going to go up to his room and find out some more and see if he really did need the money for something important. So he knocks on his son's door and walks inside and he says, son, I just want to talk to you for a second. He said, I'm sorry I got so angry earlier. It's just that your questions kind of caught me off guard. And his son's sitting on the bed there and he so the dad says, you know, I thought about it some more, and I'm going to give you that $25. So he pulls it out of his pocket and gives his son $25, right? And his son grabs it, and he's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Dad. And he puts it in his pocket and runs back to his bed and throws over the pillow and then pulls out another $25. And his dad's like, what? He's like, why would you ask me now for $25 after asking me how much money I make an hour just to find out that you had $25 already? And the son looks back at his dad and says, well, dad, now I have enough money to buy one hour of your time because 25 plus 25 equals 50. Right? Five zero. And his dad just started to cry because he couldn't believe that his son, his, his young son, had wanted to spend time with him. That he kind of lost track of what was really important. And I really want you to think about that for this week, is to kind of take things up a level. When we talked about, you know, texting somebody or making a phone call just to tell them how much you love them and appreciate them and value them. Now I want you to actually spend some time with them, right? And if you can't do it physically, then at least we can do it virtually, right? Have a Zoom call or whatever FaceTime that you can do to really have some meaningful time with them. But I also want you to encourage your family, whatever your family looks like, to maybe have dinner together or breakfast or lunch or brunch, whatever it is, that you all take some time and just be together, right? And really listen to each other. 
and really be in the moment and really be present because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. And so it's so important. Yes, it's important to have money. That's what makes the world go round. It's important to have bikes that have tires that go round to get us from point A to point B. But it's so, so important to just spend time with, with someone. And so look, when we want to really tie this back into the Bible, it says this in Proverbs 27, that we shouldn't boast about tomorrow or just think that tomorrow is going to come. We really need to focus on today and be grateful for today and show the time that people deserve today, right? And you think about what it also says in Psalm 90. And it's asking God to teach us, teach us to number our days, right? To basically understand that our days, we don't know how many we're going to have. So let's make the most of our days and really make sure we have some time with people that we know and that we love. Because it also talks about not just to teach us to number our days, but then to now know that we're going to have this, this, this heart of wisdom and this wisdom, this knowledge, this heart knowledge to be able to be there for each other and be able to share our hearts with one another. So keep doing that this week. Keep shining Christ's love for all of you and for all of us and know that we have to keep that faith and we have to spend that time with people that matter the most in our lives and make sure you take some time some quiet time to spend with God much love see you soon peace